Now, today I'm going to be asking the question of what really happened to Tiny Temper. As if we're all being real here, I think Tiny, along with So Solid Crew, Dizzy Rascal, Chipmunk, N-Dubs and Wiley, is pivotal to the success of UK rap today. As without the heavyweight dropping written in the stars, girls like Earthquake alongside Labyrinth, and obviously Pass Out, which for me and pretty much the rest of London and probably the UK was the soundtrack to 2009. And it still bangs today. And so with all that being said, how can one of the greatest to ever do it feel like someone who is kind of separate from the scene only a decade later? Well, I'm gonna let you know what Tiny Temper has been up to recently in this video and what we should expect from him in the future. But for now, what really happened to Tiny Temper? So, let's talk about it. Now, Tiny Temper back in 2009 was basically an unknown name, and that really didn't last long, as later that year, Tiny dropped Pass Out, being the first single of his 2010 album, Discovery. And I'm sure there are some younger people out there watching this video and not knowing how much of a moment Pass Out became, but in an era where you couldn't rely on TikTok, and you had to make the music worth well for it to really start catching fire, Pass Out managed to be the UK soundtrack of that year. It stayed at number one for two weeks before staying in the top 40 for over a year. It earned a remix from none other than Snoop Doggy Dog of all people. And then following that, Tiny earned a Brit Award being the best British single for that year and for that track. To this day, Tiny's been part of seven UK number ones and has had another eight tracks in the top 10. Tiny Temperature seemed to wrap up the sound of that era, whether it be in the beats he was picking with the drum pattern on top of kind of electronic instrumentals that actually quickly became associated with Tiny and that whole era, to be honest. Whether it be N-Dubs or Labyrinth, they all followed suit. His lyrics also, which were always related to the culture he was bringing eyes to, allowed him to be the sound of the first half of the 2010s, with him every year releasing chart toppers from Frisky to Written in the Stars to Miami to Ibiza. Following that breakout year, Tiny dropped the long-awaited album Discovery that all his singles had been leading up to. And with the album stacked with features and following on from that sound that Tiny birthed earlier that year with the blend of UK rap and electronic dance music, Discovery was obviously destined for greatness. And it delivered with the album going platinum quick time. And with Tiny Temper earning his stripes in the mainstream, in the next few years he would go on to release two more projects, Demonstration in 2013 and the mixtape Junk Food in 2015. Now, although Demonstration came with a roster of highlights that definitely hit for me, in Trampoline featuring 2 Chains, A Heart Can Save the World or Don't Sell Out, the majority of the album felt like a crowded pop album that forgot all the elements that made Discovery so special. Not to say that I always wanted Tiny Temper to remain the same, but when the greasy temper hooks are replaced with pop stars, from a rap fan like myself, I wasn't feeling it, and most people weren't who were in this same fan base. And so as you would expect in 2015, when Tiny announced his mixtape that would essentially be a showcasing of all the talent that the UK had at the time in JME, Stormzy, Miss Banks, Mostak, Cadet, Young's Teflon, Giggs or Jay Huss, I was looking forward to some new Tiny temper to say the least. However, unfortunately, critically, the project really didn't live up to what was expected, even if the majority of the tracks banged. And it just goes to show how the mainstream was still pushing against the rise of grime and UK rap, even five years ago. And so in 2017, Tiny released a contrast in star-studded album, Youth. Now, obviously, after the underwhelming junk food, Tiny would go on to unveil a new commercial approach with the music that would be suited to the sound that the radio wanted to hear. So enter Girls Like featuring Zara Larson or Not Letting Go featuring Jess Glynn. Mad, never thought I'd be saying those names on this channel, but moving on, these quickly became some of the biggest tracks in the UK with Girls Like becoming Tiny Tempo's most successful song to date, with it reaching almost 300 million streams on Spotify. And so with all that being said, obviously these following projects didn't come without their highlights or earning some accolades, but they didn't click with me or the scene that he had sort of left behind. Now one thing to mention is that Tiny Tempo knew how to make a hit, and over time I believe this has kind of become something that has stunted him as the industry has evolved. 
obviously that's not taking anything away from tiny temper because he definitely deserved everything he got out of those projects it just wasn't what the rest of the scene were looking for from tiny at the time look at uk rap or hip-hop in general nowadays we are becoming the mainstream this is the new popular sound that when tiny was entering the game was the forgotten sound that he was trying to bring light to and so today when i'm looking back through everything tiny temper the majority of his music isn't what i would ever listen to as he quickly went from a rapper that everyone could relate to to a kind of pop club banger machine clearly this isn't any issue for him but you get what i'm trying to say here and with his first project discovery still being his only number one album his only triple platinum album and the only album that i thoroughly enjoyed to date clearly the majority also felt this way so where did this leave tiny in 2021 well between 2017 and 2020 tiny went on some sort of hiatus to focus on his family and his label disturbing london he then appeared on the big nasty show in 2020 to announce his return to music and his changed name shortened to just tiny ironically much like chipmunk had done years earlier and which he later said was done because he wasn't angry anymore and so he stayed true to his word and in 2020 he dropped three singles two being top winners featuring notes and Montclair featuring tion wayne and to say the least they banged they both leaned into the afrobeat sound popularized a few years before and they really suited him to be honest I don't know if it was because he wasn't afraid to show some vocals or the element of seeing him back, but I'm definitely here for it if this is what he wants to lean into. Obviously, I wasn't really feeling the third track, but it was good to see Tiny back regardless. You see, I still don't think Tiny is done. He will forever be a legend, and so whatever chapter he is coming, I'm going to be here watching and supporting. And it's not like Tiny is an artist stuck in the past, as even recently he released a track alongside the Hooligan Hefts from the Aussie drill scene. Before that, he appeared on KSI's Really Love remix, and then on Drip, being a track presenting all of the sign disturbing London artists. And so clearly, Tiny knows where the audience he is trying to reach is watching from, with all of these songs popping in different areas. But yeah, mark my words, Tiny Tempo will return, whether it be an album or a mixtape or a hit song, you will hear his name again, as his legacy will always keep him in the UK Music Hall of Fame. But yeah, let me know where you see Tiny Tempo or Tiny going from here. Will I be proved right? Is Tiny gonna make a return? Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. You've been listening to The Noise Complaint, and I'm out.